know how integral football is to our culture. Just look at how pervasive it is on Thanksgiving. And it should be integrated into almost all our cultural institutions and that includes fine arts. Now, before we begin, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe for further content. And now, without further ado, I present a video where I play the character, Renegade Docent, analyzing Jacques-Louis David's painting, The Death of Socrates, in connection with the National Football League. Football, enjoy. Renegade Docent here, and I'm at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and I am right behind me. It's one of my favorite paintings. It's Jacques-Louis David's The Death of Socrates. Okay, it's a little static. I mean, it would be great if we could see the painting like the way NFL films make football so heroic and mythological. Yeah, just like this. So fantastic and melodramatic and heroic. Athens, Greece, cradle of democracy and modern thinking. But such enlightenment was not preordained. The entrenched powers, based upon polytheistic paganism and the belief that you could talk to a goat, was not going to relinquish its hold on humanity without a struggle. They targeted the movement's golden boy, Socrates, antiquity's version of Vince Lombardi's Paul Horning. The authorities arrested Socrates, accused him of corrupting its young, and tried, by threatening to execute him, to coerce Socrates into renouncing his beliefs. And though it saddened his followers, Socrates was not going to turn his back on his cause. He drank the hemlock and sacrificed himself for team humanity. Like a pulling guard, he led an intellectual power sweep that his protege Plato would take to the house. And as time moved forward, it became clear to all that while Socrates was a man, indeed he was mortal, his ideas, however, would change humanity forever. Socrates, mortal man, immortal. Well, that was stirring. You know what? I'm going to watch it again. Why? Because it's on canvas, which is like a primitive form of DVR. So, come on. You know, Socrates really was the Vince Lombardi of philosophy. It's like what Socrates says, thinking isn't everything, it's the only thing. Socrates! A certain magic still lingers in the very name. It speaks of duels in the snow and cold November mud. 